I want to get into uh, Cynthia Bailey leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all know I produce on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I know Cynthia Bailey, you know, very well. She's a very nice person. Um, such a sweetheart, and I seen her, you know, go through the divorce with Peter and go looking for a new relationship. And I was part of the process of her finding new love when I was producing on season 10. So uh, I see that she had made a conscious effort to walk away from the show due to the fact that they tried to give her a friend contract. Now, let me explain to y'all the difference between a peach holder and a friend contract, all right? Hold on one second. Give me one second, y'all. So the difference between a peach holder, which are the women you see, the goose show, what up? The women that you see in the in the open that go hold a peach at you know to the camera. Uh, let me show y'all. Okay, so like right here, when you see the season start, these will these are the peach holders. Okay, as you can see, you got Portia, Cynthia. Candy, Nene, Kenya, and Sheree. Now, this is season 10, the one I produced, right? When you all in a peach, I think this season, Nene probably was getting probably about $2 million a season. Allegedly. I don't want, I'm not counting her pockets, but she was getting anywhere from probably like two to three million a season. Any of them up there, none of them is seeing no less than 750000 a season. Candy's probably getting uh, a few million herself, but everybody is making over seven fifty for the season, and anywhere in in the millions. Nene at the at, at this point was probably the most highest paid of them. She was like over two mil for the season, and what that entails is them having twenty four access to your goddamn life for like nine months. And um, it was a hell of a ride. Like, after doing this show, that's what made me chill out from working in corporate. This show is actually the shit that really made me stop 
uh, doing jobs because they tried to get me to do Love and Hip Hop after I did the Housewives, but then they told me that you know um, I will have to be a producer and security. I'm like, they in security? The fuck? Like, picture me breaking up these fights with these chicks. You got to be stupid. Or these niggas. Like, yeah, I'm not fucking going to be a producer and security. No, I'm not breaking up no fights. Yeah, I hire niggas for that. And that just turned me away automatically after coming off of the housewives. Even though they were more mature and it was never no violence. You know, it got to the point where at times they did want to go to blows, but it would never be no shit throwing and you wasn't in danger. Um, so like I said, the peach holders means that you're a principal character on the show. Now, like the people that you don't see right here, like Marlo, uh, Todd, uh 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 Lauren uh Portia's sister uh Sheree's kids uh Greg um rest in peace um Brent Nene's son um Mama Joyce, uh, the other girl that was working for Candy, uh, Mal, Cynthia's sister. Nobody else is getting paid. Only people that's holding the peach are getting paid. Now, for Marlo, um, being a friend to the show, what they consider a friend to the show, which is like a, a B character, they're going to get like a contract that's less than 100000 for the season. Probably anywhere from 40 to 60 grand, something like that. Probably like 60 grand. Marlo probably getting a little more because she's been around for a minute. But when you become just a friend of the show, you're not getting six figures no more. You're getting, uh, yeah, you're getting less than 100000 You know what I'm saying? So what happened with Cynthia is this. When you don't have a lot of substance for them to... Uh, exploit your life then they will take the peach away from you if you don't want to play games say in Cynthia's case she's married now if her husband Mike Hill is saying yo baby I'm not getting on that fucking show like you know I'll do little appearances here and there but I don't want them tapping into our marriage if he don't want to play games like that he puts Cynthia's peach at jeopardy, right? And Sheree, in this case, in this season, she didn't have a man. The dude that she was dealing with was in jail, right? So she has no love interest. Prior to uh, season nine, she had Bob back on the show uh, as if they was trying to work it out. Whether that was real or not, she had a partner. Now that it's 10, she got a nigga in jail, and this same nigga in jail used like, I ain't even relive that whole shit. But anyway, that's nothing for her. Sheree ain't got no businesses going on. Like Candy, she don't have a, a old lady gang. She don't have a, a, a skate. She don't have um, Todd, right? So she's not giving them substance for them to give her the peach if we own, we're not going to give you the the, the six figures nine or, or seven figures because you ain't got no 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 shit to talk about you you know your clothing line ain't going ain't popping like you ain't doing nothing uh 
Kenya goes out and in the time of the break, she goes and finds a, a scandal for them to keep her on the show. When in this situation, she was saying she got married. We didn't know if it was true. So they had to keep her there to find out she really got married. And then we find out, yeah, she really got married. Then she got a baby. It keeps her in the loop. It keeps her with the peach. But now the nigga's leaving, you know? So if she don't find another nigga, her ass is gone. You know what I'm saying? Candy is the franchise right now. Nene, Nene was at one point. Now Candy is the franchise. Because Candy got the businesses still going. Candy still got the husband. Candy still got um, uh, her singing career. You know what I'm saying? So she got shit that they going to do. So she got the, the lead hand right now. If, if, if they say, hey, we're bringing Nene back and Candy say, oh, oh, really? Oh, I'm out. Then they ain't going to bring Nene back. You know what I'm saying? Because Candy is the the uh, the franchise right now, you know what I'm saying. So she got the upper hand. Nobody else has a storyline more than Candy. So Portia, I'm hearing that she's leaving too. I don't know how true that is, but they would love to keep Portia because now she's with this dude that got that paper. But if Portia's smart, she get the fuck off the show. Being that she got the dude that got that paper, because they will ruin that. That they are per they are pros at that shit of destroying your relationship. This is why Pete is no longer with Cynthia no more. You know what I'm saying? And Kenya done ran through a hundred niggas. You know, like that. Candy had a few. You know they. Uh, Phaedra, they just sent Apollo ass to jail. Like the way they pull strings up there is is real evil and wicked, you know. So I'm proud of Cynthia from walking away with her dignity because they try to demote her. She they tried to offer her the friend contract, you know. And the friend of the show, like Marlo's should have a peach because she's the bridge to keep all the bullshit going. Sheree was the bridge in season 10 because Sheree would do anything they tell her to do. And I don't say that in a disrespectful way, but they she would do anything that they would ask her to do. So they use her and she got looked at her was the messy one. Uh, what they call her? They had a name for Sheree. What was the name they called Sheree? Something about the the she carried the she carried the bullshit. It was a name they had for the bone carry the bone collector. She carried the bones and shit. But that was the the bone carrier. Is really her role because us producers need. If there's a problem between Nene and Candy, and Nene and Candy don't want to do a scene together, then what we do is we put Sheree in the scene with Candy and she say, oh, well, Nene said this about you. And then Candy uh, uh, give a rebuttal because she telling the producer, I'm not shooting with Nene. I ain't shooting with her. So for them to keep the story going and let the, the people know what's going on, we'll get, we'll take Sheree and have her do a scene at a restaurant where they go on for lunch and she'll tell her how she feel about Nene. Then we'll take Sheree and take her, put her in the gym with Nene and they working out or go to Nene's shop and she'll bone carry what Sheree said. But in the world of TV, y'all looking at is, oh, Sheree's a goddamn gossiper. She the bone carrier. She always running back, telling him of her shit, but no, She's only doing what we tell her to do because Candy don't want to shoot with, with, with Nene. But we got to make sure the information gets to Nene so she can have a rebuttal. So later down at the reunion, when they got to sit with each other, 
you saw what was said and it, it ain't a mystery to you. You know how it got there. And it's like, oh, Sheree was so messy. Sheree went and told so-and-so. And no, she is the bridge for the storyline. In your eyes, she's the bone carrier. She's the go gossiper. In production world, she's the bridge. Marlo is the bridge. Titty. So it looks like Marlo being the midst of every, all the bullshit now, but she's just the bridge to the stories. But they won't give her a peach because she don't have a husband. She's not in a relationship. She don't live as extravagant as Sheree's Chateau Sheree or uh, Nini's house or Porsche's house or Candy's house or Cynthia's house or even Kenya's house. You got to have the, the look. You got to have the, the image of you got money to be a housewife. Any chick that come on there got to have the nice house. And then you got to have the family structure. But you got to have money. You got to have the lifestyle. You, you ain't no broke housewife coming on it. This is how they uh, branded it to where it's about money. You know, until Marlo get ready to get married and get into a relationship, they're not going to give her a peach. But they keep her around because... Marlo, Marlo don't have emotions attached to the show and the characters. She did to get her bag. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Outside of Nene, she don't give a F about nobody for real, for real. I think Nene may be her only true friend that she care about. But none of them, for real, for real, rock with each other. They do it all for the sake of the check. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like they acting. So for them, to me, to want to demote Cynthia means that Cynthia don't want them all in her marriage like that no more. So they like, all right, well, cool. We, well, we'll just uh, keep you as a friend on the show. No, I'm still fucking Cynthia. Like I gave y'all 10 years, I'm still a major character on the show. You're not going to demote me because I don't want to get let y'all into my marriage like that, but I'm still willing to play the game. Y'all ruined my marriage with Peter. I gave y'all my divorce. I gave y'all fucking a whole new marriage. I gave y'all a whole bunch of relationships. I gave y'all my relationship with my family. Now y'all, after all these years, 10 years, you want to give me the little check? Because my relationship and, and stuff or my businesses and all that ain't pop. No, you that's not showing good incentive for a, a person that opened they, her, her daughter, Noel. I didn't put my daughter's life on camera. I didn't put my marriage on camera. I didn't put my divorce on camera. I didn't been here for 10 years. I didn't got remarried on camera. All for y'all to get raised. And now y'all want to cut my salary. And this is why I be telling you, these people is dirty. Dirty in this production world. Dirty. And then they'll be mad at me. And I, I've been said this too many times to me, producing the housewives. Yo, Choke, who you down with? Production? or talent because I always stood up for the talent. I didn't care about the money. The money wasn't shit. They wasn't even paying like that. You know what I'm saying? For me to sacrifice my integrity, I could go get a job somewhere else. Like with the, the way that they try to make people, black women look stupid and deliberately and destroy relationships deliberately like going to search to find out if, if somebody's cheating. That don't, that don't be no, no regular shit. They be looking for dirt and then they be putting shit out there in the media to, 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 to make the, uh, the, the, uh, the people know that is conflict in these relationships 
and then they start seeing what people gonna gravitate to, and then they are fucking uh pour gasoline on that shit during the season. It ain't fair because people put their livelihoods and their whole family on TV. And like I said, only Cynthia is getting the check. Mike ain't getting the check. Todd ain't getting the check. Nowadays, you know, Todd and uh, Mama Joyce and them's like, oh, we're not shooting unless you're paying us. Like, they, they will demand a check. And they will pay them if they really need them for the scene. Other than that, they're not paying them. They'll find a way to get it done without them if they ain't got to pay them. But, you know, people like Todd and them that been there for a little minute and Todd working in the production world, he know what to ask for. And you don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. There ain't no rules to this. The rules are made as we go along. So shout out to Cynthia Bailey. That's my girl. I love her, man. She's a, a, a really good woman. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I seen her go from through that divorce, uh, broken heart, searching for new love, and getting happy again. And the fact that they want to demote her to a goddamn friend after giving 10 years of her life, of her family's life, her daughter, her sister, bringing Leon on the show, a well-known actor bringing more star power to the show. Y'all going to just do her dirty like that and want give, to give her a friend contract. No loyalty, no loyalty, no loyalty. The shows is crazy, man. No loyalty, man. See, like, let me show you. See, right here, this is season 10, too, right? Right here, even in the middle, she's just a friend of the show. She didn't have a peach. So she's only getting roughly, allegedly, probably about 50, 60 grand for the season to do it. Sheree had a peach. Kenya had a peach. Nene had a peach. Portia had a peach. Cynthia had a peach. Candy had a peach. So let's just say they all was getting a million. That's one, two three, four, five, six million dollars, right? Then you got Marlo here, friend contract like Eva. And then you got Portia's sister, Lauren, who might not even have a friend contract. And I, I can't even remember who the hell this is right here. Sitting next to her, that's probably just one of their friends or whatever. But so now when you look, let me show you this. I want to say they have the season probably like 15, I don't know, right? 
But now when you look at it, see, now when you look at the peach holders, you know, a few seasons later, after Sheree is gone, they offered Sheree the fan contract for season 11. And she said, F y'all, just like Cynthia did. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? After giving them 10 years, Sheree gave them 10 years. Right? So now you see here, you got Portia with the peach, Cynthia with the peach, Candy with the peach. This was Nene's last season. Then they kicked Nene off the show. Um, after giving them 14 years. Or at least 12, because she went away for like two. And then look, as you can see now, Eva worked her way up from being a friend contract to get the, the, the six-figure or seven-figure peach contract along with this chick Shamari or whatever she is. I think that was uh Michael Bivens. I mean uh Ron DeVoe wife right here, I think. I'm not sure. But like, so for you to demote Cynthia, who gave you all these years, you would just cut her like that. And bam, that's how you see it. You see right here, I sent, I mean, Nene is no longer in there. And these are your peach holders. They get rid of it. They, they'll get rid of a peach. It's like, it's like working in corporate America. Say if you was a supervisor and you was making a million dollars a year, they'll hire a, a, a new person and try to groom them for your spot and pay them a fraction and pay them 60,000 a year. And then they'll get rid of you and then put this person in your position and then probably give them about 300,000 a year. Like, you know, probably gave Eva like 300,000 from the friend peach contract being, they gave her a peach. Oh, we're going to give you 300,000 now and get rid of somebody like Nene that they was paying probably three million that's how they cut the budget and then it ain't and when you learn they they look at these people as family and andy and his family and until they get cut and then they like oh it ain't family no it was business it was business it was business you know what i'm saying so like once again much, 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 much love to Cynthia Bailey for standing your goddamn ground and walking away for not selling yourself out cheap. I respect you, Queen. Bow down to you for standing up and holding your goddamn ground. Standing up and holding your goddamn ground. 